Dr. Wood, author of the book, Miracles and Minutes. Miracles and Minutes available on Amazon.com. So I'm going to share with you one of these things I have in the book. And this is something weird that happened in 21 years of clinical practice. So um, I guess an open person, and open even to absurdity. Um, and I didn't care as long as it worked. If pulling your ear you know, can make you leap tall buildings in a single bound, I don't care. When you're an athlete, all you cared about is you want to be able to perform, perform at your best, and how can you get the most out of your body? So <clears throat> I know it's allergy season right now, and some people got stuffy noses or a little springtime cold, and you're like, what can I do, Dr. Wood, to alleviate my stuffy nose? And the answer is if you stand up, put your foot up behind you <laughs> on a chair, stretch your quadricep, and you feel a big stretch into the thigh muscle, that nostril on that side will open right up. 65 to 85% of the time, like that, like that, like that. You go, that's weird, that's weird. Well, I thought it was weird too, until uh, someone gave me this book, and it's called Anatomy Trains. So, what is Anatomy Trains? Anatomy Trains is a book written by Tom Myers. It was a dissection of the human body, looking at it differently. Everything your doctor currently knows today is based upon, uh, dissection-wise, is based upon the year 1600, <laughs> and nothing's changed. And the dissection approach was from a butcher's perspective. Everything was pulled apart, dissectionist, anterior deltoid, medial deltoid, posterior deltoid, sternocleidomastoid, you know, looking at each individual muscle. Myers, in his book, dissected from a different perspective of how muscles connect to muscles. Now I'm going to show you something called, from chapter 4, the superficial front line. And how does this work? So, what does your body care about? It cares about balance and it cares about posture. So you have sheets of muscles on the front of your body for balance and posture, and you have sheets on the back, and you have sheets on the left, and you have sheets on the right, and you have muscles that turn your right and muscles that turn your left. Okay? So the anterior sheet, okay, and um, most people develop something called quad dominance. Okay? So what happens is when you get stressed out, freak out, your hip flexors turn on, and your thigh muscles get really tight. And what will happen to you on your pelvis right here, it will cause an anterior pelvic fault. In other words, your pelvis will rotate forward, and you'll see your belt point towards the ground, and you're going to pinch L5, and a lot of people herniate discs from having quad dominance, being too stressed out, superficial front lines too tight. That could be part of it. So a lot of people that I have taken care of, who had chronic back pain and no one could figure it out, started working certain muscle stretch and all of a sudden they get better. Now, how is stretching your quad related to your nose? How is that related? So you can see here, the muscles start in the tibialis anterior out there here, up to the quadriceps. Those muscles attach to the front of your pelvis. All a muscle can do is shorten or lengthen. My arm's out long, my bicep contracts, my arm shortens. My tricep contracts, my arm lengthens. So muscles, this is called flexion, bringing together. If these muscles flex, they'll tilt the pelvis anterior if there's not enough posterior control. So in other words, the muscles in the front need to balance the muscles in the back. And due to a sedentary society, your hamstrings tend to get real short. You're stressed out, sit down, develop quad tension. Later on in life, you develop spinal stenosis in the lumbar spine, and you're in pain. And I talk to those patients on Monday, Friday at the orthopedic surgeon's office who you have ruptured disc and you lose control of your bowels and bladder and all that stuff. And <laughs> you're having some serious problems. You're dying to do something right now because nothing's working. So how do you prevent some of that stuff? Well, that's what my office is all about. It's helping people stay in shape. But this video is about <clears throat> uh, how do you relieve the nose? So the quads come in here like this, attached to the front of the pelvis. Your rectus abdominis come all the way down here, right by your private parts, and attach to the iliac crest. So, you know, if you're a woman, like right down at the bottom, right there above your, you know, genitalia, right there is the insertion of the rectus abdominis. You'll see this uh, pull apart in that white line of the linea alba when you get pregnant, and you'll see that line as the abdominals are being protruded so the baby grows. But anyway, so it comes up here like this, and your abs attach to your rib cage. If your rib cage gets faulty, your abdominals will shut off. If your scapula does not move back in place, your abdominals will shut off. If you raise your arms above your head, your core turns on. These are all things that they found out from studying how the core of the spine works. Comes up here to the rectus abdominis, in through some fascia on your breastplate and into this muscle right here that runs like this. 
It's called the sternocleidomastoid. attaches to the back of your ear and your skull. Now, you ever had the doctor like, oh, my doctor's going to palpate my lymph nodes. So he goes underneath the jaw right in through here and the bottom of your jaw, there's a lymph tissue in there. So like when you get the lymph systems, almost like when you have dead cells, you have viruses, germs, and bacteria, it's got to go somewhere and it puts it in the lymph. So then the lymph is going to drain into the front. There's an anterior chain, meaning in front of the SCM, and a posterior chain behind the SCM. So sometimes you get an infection or you get something like that going on, your body needs to move fluids in the system. So what happens if this muscle becomes short, tight, and thick? It closes off the lymph tube. So all you do is stretch the quad. Surprisingly, it'll release it up top. So in other words, if I pull from the bottom, you feel the tension up top. So if you have tight quads, it'll pull to the rectus abdominis, shorten your abdominal wall. <clears throat> and then you can't stand up straight because your abdominals are too short from your quads being too short from your pelvis being tipped over. Then the sternocleidomastoid react because now the body's off. So if the pelvis is tilting way at one way, the head tends to translate, move forward like this to balance out. So the pelvis moves like this, rotates like this, and the skull's gonna move in another direction and your posture is all jacked up, screws up your neck eventually from loss of posture control. But what I'm talking about here is how do you open up that sinus. It also works for, surprisingly, sometimes people got a stiff neck, they can't lean their head left and right. You stretch that quad, next thing you know, they got full range of motion of their neck left and right. Pretty wild stuff. How fast does it work? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Man, you're going to see a result in 30 seconds. That works faster than Advil and Afrin. The good news is you own it. So, it's a quick little thing. There's a lot of other tidbits. I have something in the book, Miracles of Minutes, where people have torticollis. What's torticollis? Oh, shit. My neck. I can't turn my head at all, Dr. Wood. And everyone tries to treat the neck. That's not what I do. And I get you out of, out of that chronic neck pain where you're all jacked up and in there in less than 30 seconds to two minutes. The longest I've ever had to work with someone was about 35 minutes. But the next day they woke up, their neck pain was all gone. So it's Dr. Wood, Miracles Minutes, a book for you, written for lay people, not only doctors of chiropractic, not any physical therapists, not any personal trainers, not any yoga instructors. Hey, why not learn how to take care of yourself? <laughs> and if you can get yourself to be, you know, doctor, heal thyself. If you can heal yourself, you can save a lot of money in the future and get you back on the road to good health or get you out of pain pretty quickly. So I hope this video helps you. Thanks a lot.